Try to get yourself a bargain, girl. Don't be sold on the very first one. Good looking guys come a dime a dozen. Try to find you one who's gonna give you true love and before you take a guy and say I do now. Make sure he's in love with you now. Make sure that his love is true now. Hate to see you, hate to see you. I hate to see you feeling sad and blue. Oh man. Okay, I messed that up. Mm. Because the best part is, right now where it goes, my mama told me you better shop around. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 you better shop around. Two couple Dollar Trees. Oh, oh, oh. Find you some Dollar Trees. Woo okay. I didn't look at my iPad for the words. I love that song. I know that song very well, but I was so confused because I wanted to start in the middle of the song, not the beginning of the song. Um, yeah. Okay, well, there. I See? I messed up the song, but who cares? Because you all are going to be singing it all day now. My mama told me you better shop around. So the reason I'm singing that song uh -huh, is because I went shopping around to a couple of Dollar Trees that aren't in my area. It was so exciting. I was driving back from Lake Havasu. Not Lake. Where was I? Not Lake Havasu. Yeah, Boulder City, Colorado. Um, anyway, driving back. And what, of course... My phone automatically shows me Dollar Trees. Not really. <laughs> but I just put in, I just punch in Dollar Tree search nearby, and then it'll show me the Dollar Trees as I'm driving by them. Okay, so hi, welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy, and you better shop around. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So excited about today's haul. This is a bonus haul. Welcome, if it's your first time here, this is a little crazy channel, but we love to have a good time. We sing a lot, we dance a lot. No, there's no dancing. There should be. Let's head dancing. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, and we shop a lot and we do DIYs. Why am I saying we? Me and my cats. <laughs> okay, because I do this when he's at work. So he's like never around when I do this. Very rarely. All right. Okay, so um, today is a bonus day. Bonus day, bonus day, bonus day. Quickly, let's go over a few things. Welcome to the channel. This is a Dollar Tree channel, and we do everything Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree because at the Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar, people, a dollar, which then wants, I want to say a dollar, make, yeah, but I'm not going to. Okay, so I am so excited because, like I said, on my way back, I went shopping at a couple of Dollar Trees, and so you get a bonus day today. Normally, I four uploads a week. It's totally easy Tuesday, theme Thursday, foodie Friday, shopping Saturdays, but today is Wednesday, and you're getting a bonus haul. Let's dive in. Oh, but first, if you are not a subscriber, please consider subscribing um, because I do a weekly giveaway. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays when I do my DIYs and my upscales, I do all these crafts. I can't keep them all. There's just too many. And so if you watch on Tuesdays and Thursdays and you're a subscriber and you give me a thumbs up and you make a comment, you're entered into the drawing on Saturday and you get to pick what you want. Hold, I got to run because... The winner last week was Cheryl, and she chose this. How beautiful is this? So I have to send this off to her, um, and that's what happens. You get to pick the craft up from that week. Pick one of the crafts that you like that I make, and I will mail it off to you. Uh, okay, let's see. I'm going to show you something because you have to stay till the end of this video. Is that the cutest? Okay, that's all I'm going to tell you. Watch till the end. You have to watch till the end. And then once you see that part, you have to stay even, no, just watch till the end. So confusing. Let's get into the hall. All right, Dollar Tree I'd never been to. Um, and it was so much fun. So I'm just gonna show you the one thing I did find in 4th of July was this. It's an inflatable cooler. I don't know if it works, but I'm gonna try. And if it is, if it doesn't work, I was thinking I could still put it on a table and put ice on it and use it to serve like cooler foods, right? Because it would, obviously would hold the ice. But I'm really hoping it floats. But look at all the stuff they show in there and it's still supposed to float. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like this is probably false advertising. Like men. Better shop around. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. I don't normally start in glassware, but I'm going to. So I have so many boho ideas that I need to do with these straight cylinder bases. So I picked up yet another one. 
another of the miniature like little milk jugs I call them for boho stuff and another one of these I mean these are all normal glass pieces that they have there pretty much all the time now you you sometimes they won't be in there but on a regular basis pretty regular basis you can find them if they're not there the one trip they probably will be the next or the next or whatever but this shape never seen it before isn't that cool so this screams boho for me. There's just something about the shape, but it also screams nautical. So I picked up two. I'll do one boho and I will do one nautical. I'm collecting stuff to do a nautical day, but I was really hoping I was going to find one of the Dollar Trees that had the whole seashore, whatever line, that new line. Didn't find it. And that's one of the reasons I went to new Dollar Trees and I didn't find it, but I'm still on the hunt. And then I was thinking like, how dumb are you, Amy? Get on the phone and call. I'm wondering if I could like contact Dollar Tree and say, is there one in the greater Phoenix area? So I might try that later today. I don't know, although I'm very busy. Okay, so I hadn't seen this shape. I picked it up. I absolutely love it. I think it's really cool shape and it's gonna be really fun. And one of the things I love about it, it has like a waist on it. It's the only thing I can think of. So this is so perfect for adding enhancements with jute twine or whatever. Like, can't you just see a nautical one with sand in the bottom and, um, and some seashells and whatnot? And then to put some not, uh, some rope on here and and seashells hanging off of it. And then I believe I can fit one of the little glass votives right in here. I should have done that on film for you. But I'm pretty sure a little glass votive will fit in here and stop. So it's not for a full, it's really just to bring up the votive on a table centerpiece. Okay, hope you followed all that. Speaking of candles, um, I found another one of these. I had to replace it because I sent it away with the gift that I sent to... Who won that one? The boho one. Anyway, Cheryl, was it you? No. No, Cheryl just won this week. Who won the boho? It was Shannon. I don't even know if she's gotten it yet. Anyway, this was in there, and so I had to replace it because I have to make one for myself because that piece I really wanted. This is what's going to happen. The pieces that I really like are going to be the ones that you guys pick, and then I have to remake them again. Like, this one is so adorable. and But I'm happy to do that because... Um, first of all, I'm really trying to grow this channel. And so I know that it makes you guys really loyal and it's fun to interact and know that you have a shot at picking one of those crafts. I watch so many other crafters and I mean, it would be kind of fun to have a chance. I get it. It's fun to win a box of stuff or whatnot, but I don't know. I think there's something I should start sign signing them. No. So I got one of those. So they're still out there, FYI. And that's kind of nice. Now these are brand new. I love the shape of these. They're super small. I get that. This one is salted seagrass. Mm -hmm. I just love the, the shape on these. And again, when I'm all done, I can make a substantial little decorative piece out of that. Uh, this one is beachside breeze. Mm -hmm. mm, that so smells like beachside breeze. And this one's ocean mist, which makes me think of that ad. I feel the ocean mist. Debra, Debra, we got to, not now, I'm in the, I'm in the Cape, <laughs> the Cape Cod potato chips one, okay, random, that's my brain, okay, but I bought these because I want them actually to be part of a vignette when I do that nautical themed day, and of course, I'll probably slightly enhance them just with a couple of seashells, so there's that, but I love them, and I will say, <coughs> I will say this, this, sorry guys, where's my coffee? The small candles like that work really well in a bathroom. They don't work well, right? Other than they're visually very pretty, but this small for a scent isn't gonna do any big area. I think you guys all know that. Can I show you my new mug? I'm so excited about this. Look at the size of this thing. Now it says South Dakota. I don't, go, I don't live in South Dakota. I never live in South Dakota. However, South Dakota is next to Iowa. And there's <coughs> so many people that like, um, you know, like, like from South Dakota that come here. So anyway, what I don't, what I loved about it most though, because I think you guys are going to find this hysterical. And um, this may, I don't know, that seems like so stupid. Okay, I just want you to notice, this says North Dakota, because that's the state above, right? This one says South Dakota. Now, if we go to the other side, we have Montana, Wyoming. I'm not even sure that's correct. Maybe. I don't think so. I have to look at a map now. But this down below South Dakota is, is Nebraska. I mean, for all you Midwesterners, you're going to know what's wrong here. So on the east side of South Dakota, did you know that it goes Minnesota and then Idaho? Huh. Yeah. 
That's not right. Because I'm pretty sure Iowa's. So I think this is just like, where was this made? I'm probably not going to know. Um, I don't know. Now I have to look at this. Like, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Um, mm, China. Okay, somebody correct me. I, I, Iowa, yeah, I lived there. And Minnesota is above Iowa. The, how you can get Minnesota, Idaho, and South Dakota in there and no Iowa, it doesn't make sense. So anyway, I just thought that was funny. I had to show you guys. But huge mug, I like it. It doesn't say what else it is, but anyway, yeah. Hmm. Okay, well, there you go. I like a big mug, so it didn't matter. I was like, yeah, I'm getting it anyway. Well, actually, I got to tell you, I found it at a thrift store. So there's that. I didn't buy it at the store like that, but I don't know. I just thought that was funny. Okay, so in new houseware stuff, this is out of place, but I'm going to show you right now. Anyway, it's a brand new item, and these are these ceramic cameras, and they do have another style. I just picked up the one. I didn't need more than one, but they do have other styles. So here's the thing. This is just white. It's ceramic, but if you have the glass markers, would actually work on this. I'm probably going to upscale it, and I'm not going to tell you how. It's just, I'm going to upscale this, and I think it's going to be really, really, really cute. So look for that. Um, I don't know when I'll do it. Maybe next, maybe for Tuesday. I have to try and film Totally Easy Tuesday, like tomorrow, because we leave Friday for Iowa, and we don't get, we don't land until Tuesday morning, and then I'd have to rush home trying to do Tuesday. Like this week, Totally Easy Tuesday was late coming out because of that, because I was gone. Busy couple weeks. Okay. Continuing in the craft aisle, I just picked up this one sprig, and I'm going to tell you why. See these little flowers? I just want you to look at the color of them and the shape. Where's my scissors? Ah! I swear I came out here without scissors. Luckily, the kitchen shears are in the dishwasher right here. Well, this is why I purchased this little this little number right here. I'm going to cut off a couple of these, these, these flower things just to so I can show you this so <clears throat> if I cut them I have to like push them together so it's kind of like this and then if I do the other side just like that now I have this do you see where I'm going okay well I'll tell you B B B wings um I thought I felt like they were like the right uh you know, they're not iridescent, but they're, anyway. And I can't find bees anywhere, and I need bees for my bee DIYs, and so I'm gonna make them, because I have the yellow beads, bees and beads. I have the yellow beads, which work really well, because I made some on this, actually, right here. I made some bees for this little number right here, okay? And I used burlap, but the burlap really just kind of gets lost in the in the twine. And so I wanted to get some wings that were going to stand out more. So I have to cut them down and glue them on and everything. But that is precisely why I bought this. Again, I always say think outside the box. I love this piece, by the way. If I was doing giveaways that week, you guys would have taken that. <laughs> I know. Okay. Um, just another thing of red burlap roses because I love them. And I'm going to want them for Valentine's or whatever. I'm not sure. Okay. I... Uh, maybe I'm insane, but I don't remember seeing this large of a chalk tag before. And on some of these things, maybe I have. Disregard that. I think I have. Anyway, I bought them. So does it really matter? I still bought them, whether I've seen them or not. Googly eyes. Remember I hauled the blue, um, that blue furry pillow, and I was like, oh, wait, it'd be so cute to put googly eyes on it. And I was going to use it for a... I'm going to use it for a gnome, for a 4th of July gnome. But I found these and I picked them up because if I find another pillow like that, I'm going to do it. Because I think it would be super cute. And you know, you guys, on my channel, I don't stick to one style of DIY. I will make things for kids. I'll make things for parties. I'll make things that are farmhouse. I'll make things. This is farmhouse as it comes, right? I'll make things that are or country, I call it. I'll make things that are boho. Um, so very eclectic in what I, and my designs. So I... Where was I going with that? Oh, so when I saw these, I'm like, I'm totally going to make that pillow for all of you out there that are grandparents or whatnot. Such a cute little gift for $2 just to get a little, that little pillow. I should have got, I don't, I don't know where it's at. Well, it's in my crafting stuff. I'm not going to go get it. Anyway, 
but grandmas pick up that a pillow like that they actually make them in different colors too so you could get it in a more girlish color if you wanted and then put little sets of googly eyes on it you know all over like you know little little monster eyes and then just put a cute little tag that says um, I'm always watching you or some I don't know some cute little saying like that how cute is that super easy to mail off because it's small and very lightweight um, or just to you know I don't know okay there's my thoughts yeah that was a long thought about that what are these I feel like I should be spinning some silk right now <laughs> okay rumple stilt skin is that the one mm. Brand new. Look at this little wheel. Everybody makes wheels. I got to tell you, actually, it's the one of the most annoying things. For, I won't watch them to watch them try and make a fake wheel because it's just, you can't get them perfect. There's globs of glue everywhere and whatnot. And so it's like, it just looks fake. I don't like it. So here, this is fun. They've given us a base. Now, this isn't a wheel, this is like a bicycle wheel, or like I said, a spinning, but that would be wood. Um, so I'm interested to see what everybody's gonna do with these. I have a couple of ideas, and I'm gonna have some fun with them. I So I purchased three, okay? So uh, just watch for that. And here's the thing, this would be really fun to do a decor piece, and you could put something in the center here, and you could almost make it look like a Ferris wheel. I don't know if you guys ever see what I see, but we could put some wood planks and some clothespins. Have you seen those, like those Ferris wheels where you put pictures in? Okay, but that's not what I'm gonna do with it, but there's thought for it if you want to. Let's go to um, kids stuff. I watched, do any of you watch the Crafty Guy? He's really good. And um, he, it's so funny because I picked up I pick up things from the party aisle all the time to like I was like oh I see it this way I could use it that way. Well, he did one and I messaged him and said I'm gonna copy it if that's okay and he's like yeah of course. He took little spyglass ones and painted them and made them legs. Now do you think I can find those? No. But what I did find was these little horns and if I paint these black, can you just see them being on a oh they can be a riser for something and I'm pretty sure I can get the hold on. Well, they don't work for that. That one works. This one did not. <laughs> Happy New Year. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can get this part off. And if not, um, I think I can just sort of cut it off with my Dollar Tree hacksaw. But even with it on, um, if I paint this black, you can totally see that as a leg, right? For a riser thing or something. So that's what I got those for. Thank you to the crafty guy for um, pushing me in that direction. I do look at them all the time. I just never looked at them as risers. So that was, I like it when something jogs me to think of something somewhere else. All right, kitchen cuisine. Look how cute these are. Ah, guess what they're for? My food tier tray, which is, I don't know when that's getting done. It's going to happen. Um, so... I just want to remind you guys, when you buy things like this, keep this bag. Ready? Let's show you what I mean. I'm going to take these tools out of here. Tools. Not tools. These are like kids' toys. Well, okay. So I'm going to take them out of the package. I'm trying not to like rip. Which, by the way, how cute are these? They're so, because it's like a little pan with a little lid. Ah! Okay, well, I love that for my tear tray. All right, so now I've taken the bag. Look at this nice mesh bag, all right? Luckily, I have something here that will work. All right, now I take that, put it over this vase, put some jute rope, hang a couple of seashells off, and you've got a cute little nautical thing, right? Save, you need to save these sort of things from their packaging because they work amazing. Here's another one. I could definitely put it over this one. Now this one, I can, I can fold it over again. Are you guys seeing this? I hope you're seeing what I'm doing. All right, fold it over again so there's no mesh on the top of it. Again, tie it with some jute twine. Now you can put sand in a votive and some seashells around it. Super cute. And you've upscaled so easily. And this costs you nothing because you've already purchased the other thing. And these come in lots of things. There's seashells. I could, there's so many things that they package in these nylon net bags, okay? So there you go. You could also open it up, 
put it in the back of a frame to use for like as a backdrop for a DIY. Okay, <clears throat> um, clay. Da -da -da -da. So this one I also picked up thinking of bees. I'm like, maybe I would do some bead bees and maybe I would do some clay bees. I'm not sure, but I did purchase that just in case because I was like, I might try it. Because look, there's a, look at there. See, there's a bee on there. Look at the color of the wings. Yep. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not insane. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, where to next? Random. I got to tell you guys, hunt. Always hunt at your Dollar Trees. I walked into, the, this is the Dollar Tree that's, you know, a ways away. I walk in there and I find this, which I couldn't find at Easter time. I was like, wait, what? Yeah. And it's so cute. It's not even necessarily Easter, except that it has the carrot patch on it and the colors. But there's other things that could be done with this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wanted one so bad at Easter. Couldn't find it. I'll probably stash it away for my Easter crafts. But just remember, sometimes you're going to find that stuff off season because maybe they didn't unload a box in the back. Maybe somebody returned something. I don't know how that happens. Maybe they found another pallet in the warehouse and they just send it off anyway. I don't know. Just can't tell you. So at Christmas time, I hauled these Christmas diffusers and I've used, I think I, I don't remember how many I purchased. I've used them. I have the last one in my bathroom right now. I know it was Christmas. It doesn't matter. It smells good. Um, it was like eucalyptus and something. Check these out. Now I haven't seen these before. The Christmas ones were the first time I had seen them. So I have a water closet. If you don't know what that is. And it's a very private area. <laughs> and so the, we keep the door shut all the time because I really don't like the cats going in and drinking out of toilets. I think it's disgusting. <laughs> and anyway, so I keep the door shut. And I have one of these in there on the shelf. And that little room smells amazing. And you walk in and it's just like, oh, you know. So I picked up all of these. And th I just want you to know, they work amazing. So this is in a small space again. So this one is white. Wild Apple and Ashwood, Beachy Keen, so Beachy Keen, Pink Amber Poppy, Raspberry Prosecco, I love the color on that one, and Sunkissed Eucalyptus, okay? So just, and these make great gifts too. They make great gifts to throw into something. And the packaging on these I think is very nice, very nice. All right, um, in books, I found one book. I don't know what I'm gonna do at Halloween. I'm gonna have a whole stack. Okay, this is Poison Kiss. So I love that cover. And I'm like totally thinking I'm gonna use it for a Halloween DIY. And then I'm gonna use the book because of course the book says Poison Kiss. Poisons, sorry, Poisons Kiss. Which is like perfect for a Halloween book. It's like, what? I feel like, okay, I feel like my bra straps are gonna pop out at any second. Women, you know what I'm talking about, right? Why is that? We should develop our own, I'm sure. All right, let's move on to Jot. Um, now it'll happen. The fact that I just mentioned that, they're gonna pop out. I hate that look. It's really never one that I've bought into. They have these weekly planners. I'm gonna tell you there's only one thing that I think is wrong with these. So they're very cute. Um, I just had that upside down, huh? There's 40 sheets. This is Crown Jewels, so it's a, um, you know, a Dollar Tree thing. There's a few things. Is Crown Jewels women woman owned? Because it says so right there. I don't know what that means. Um, but there are 40 sheets in here and it's a whole week. So you can plan it. Guess what's missing? No magnet. Like, why didn't you guys put a magnet on this? Not sure. It's okay. I'm going to steal a magnet from another one of my magnet pads when it's all done. And I'll put it on here. Or I have magnets I can put on here. So, but I think these are really sweet. I like them. Um, a great Mother's Day basket thing, by the way. There's that. Which I will do my Mother's Day basket on tomorrow's video, I think. Okay. Be happy. I just want to add an E and a butterfly and put it in the frame. But I just was like, mmm. It's like boho meets bee, right? It really is. But anyway... I think it's really cute. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it as a DIY or if I'm gonna use it as a pocket letter. Somebody asked me about pocket letters and I, FYI, I know you guys have all sent me messages. It's been such a busy week and this is another busy week. I'm not answering anything until I'm sitting at the airport with nothing to do 
because I don't have time right now, but I've read most of them and um, I like to really take my time to answer and not just be like on the fly and just give you a heart, I like to give you a message back. So I'm so sorry, I'm not on top of it right now because I was gone last weekend and I'm gone again this weekend. There, Wonder Woman. Because I'm collecting Wonder Woman stuff for gifts. These are so cool. So I haven't seen this brown there before. And it is Dixon. Um, they're out of Florida. 100% real wood. Okay, so I guess the erasers are wood too. No, I don't know. Anyway, look at how pretty that packaging is. Giraffe. Um, what is that? A tiger? Zebras? Cheetah? I mean, isn't that really pretty? I was just like enthralled by these. So I'm not, my daughter collects zebras and I totally want to give these to her, but they'd be so cute in a pocket letter. I'm not sure, but I had to get them. Another pocket letter envelope thing. She just got her pocket letter, was it yesterday? I don't remember now. Anyway, um, so yeah. And then I have looked at these before and I've thought about it and this time I did it. You know, everybody buys signs at the Dollar Tree and they, you know, they redo them and they're taking off the, the original sign or they're just putting the original sign to the back. And I'm like, looking at this going, this is like a piece of MDF. Why can't we use these for signs? So I'm gonna try. What I'm wondering is when I pop this off, if it's, what's it gonna do? But then I thought, I don't know, maybe I would do a DIY where I leave this and this sort of becomes a picture holder or, 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 oh, I could do a really cute one for displaying kids' art, right? Be super cute to make it, like, put a sign above it and says, I made this. And then it can they can clip their own art on here and they can switch out their art. What a great grandma idea, by the way. Not great grandma. A great for a grandma idea. Well, it could be for a great grandma as well. Anyway, huh, super cute idea. So I picked up a few of the, picked up, I picked up, I picked up, I picked up. Gotta have another phrase. You guys, give, tell me something. So I grabbed a few of those because that was my thought. I can use those to make a sign and then it's something fairly easy. I don't have a lot to take off and, and to redo it. And then the back should be clean. But my favorite find in Jot. Oh my God, I was like, what? I've never, ever seen these before. It's a magnet, number one, okay? But it's a wood magnet shaped like what? A beehive. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. It's because for my bee week, I'm going to do like a little magnet for the fridge out of these. I'm going to enhance some other piece of something with these. I think all I need to do is just outline them in black and it's going to be fine. I could paint, but you know I like to make it as easy as I can for you and still make it really cute. And I think it'd be totally fine. I was like, oh, so I didn't open them. Um, I'm going to open one right now for you guys because I'm not sure, like, how is the magnet on there and is it going to be hard? Oh, see, look. Oh, I could get a two for it because if I can get that magnet off of there fairly easily, this is also the shape of a beehive. So I could take these and outline these in, like, a silver or white. My creative mind is going insane right now. Oh, that's so cool. Keep an eye out for these if you wanna do bee stuff. Um, let's go on to like uh, health and beauty. Okay, so this is, I've seen one other person haul this and it's the Sincerely Jewels. So this is, it's this scunchy, 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 scunchy. Uh, and it must be their high end line. These are little sparkly clips. How cute are those? What beautiful packaging, perfect for a pocket letter. And, um, yeah, they're just so, they're just really cool. But let me, really quickly, pocket letters, just so everybody understands what pocket letters are. Listen, you can go on YouTube and just search in pocket letter and you'll see what a pocket letter is. Some lady started years ago. So it, you take like baseball card holders, you know, the, the things that go in the three ring notebook and you just fill it up with the different little things and little gifts and you send it off and you know, you can do, you can have a pocket letter friend that you exchange with. I just send them to my granddaughter because I think it's a really fun way. And I also don't use the baseball card size. I have footage of it. I'm not going to put it at the end of this video because it's already going to be long. Um, but I will this week at some point. Or I'll link, actually, I'll link down below. I will link 
the video where I had it at the end. And it wasn't even a really good pocket letter, but you'll get the idea of what it is. Okay, back to this. So these must be their, their specialty brand. Um, and look at how pretty and satiny these little scrunchies are. Uh, they're not big enough to make a bracelet, FYI, but just really pretty. So I love that, oops, this is really nice. I'd love to find some more of that. And then I did get myself another headband. Look, it's got little, little sparklies on it. I love this color, it screams denim to me. And another black one, because I like a good black one. I'm not wearing a Dollar Tree headband today. Nope, I'm not, <laughs> I had to look. Nope, nope, I'm not. Um, okay, then I found this lemon hat. I don't think I've hauled it before. If I have, I'm sorry, I just hauled it again. There we go. So I hauled the lemon hat because I'm gonna take the lemon hat apart and have this lemon material that I really, really want because I don't know how I could make a DIY out of this. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, see this hat? Do you remember I, last week? I can't remember, I can't keep my week straight. Yeah, last week. I made a vase out of the hat with for the lavender. Look, I could take a bucket and put it in here and tie that up with ribbon and it would be super cute. Wrong size bucket, but I have another bucket that I think would work and maybe I'll do that. See you guys, just have to, it's not just a hat, although it's very cute. I might have to wear it for the rest of the video. No, I'm not going to. Um, it's not just a hat. You just wanna look at things like the pattern. Why am I so low? Is that better? Sorry guys. Um, you want to look at other things besides what it is. Look at things like the patterns and and the shapes. And can you combine it with other things? So this bucket isn't quite big enough, but I definitely have some buckets that I could put this in and it'd be so cute. And that is probably what I will do with it. Put some greenery in it. And now I have a lemon themed piece of decor for $2, basically. Maybe three with the greenery. So hat, bucket, and some greenery. Probably $3. Okay. Um, and then I found these flip-flops. <laughs> okay, first of all, I own like 50 pairs of flip-flops, so I didn't buy them to wear. Um, but it's believe in yourself. And I'm thinking like there has to be a way that I can take these little flip-flops and make a wall decor. And um, I think it'd be super cute to put them together like this. I could put them in the middle of a bee wreath, like a summer beach house wreath and so I did that I was like I'm just gonna buy them I'm gonna show you guys how you can use flip-flops in a decor and these would be a B one how cute right or you can just put them on the wall side by side super cute with a cute little hanger I don't know I'm not exactly sure exactly how I'm gonna use them but I am definitely gonna do a flip-flop decor piece for you Okay, because it's about looking, it's about finding those patterns that you like and you want, and then how do you incorporate that into something that you can use for decor or a gift or whatever. Um, okay, I found another Eco Tools. Um, I have purchased these before, they're amazing. Eco Tools was, I'm gonna say like in fall last year, we saw a bunch of Eco Tools come through, super expensive item, right? And um, so I was so, sort of surprised that I found some more. So it's the facial con, con, uh, uh, conjac, cognac, sponge, I don't know. It's super abrasive, so it's really great for exfoliating. I love these. And it's naturally remo removes excess oils to fresh and cleanse skin. It's 100% natural plant fiber. So those are for me. And then um, I found the Let's Spa. It's the battery. So there's been some battery things that have been out there. I don't know the battery, but obviously it's a name brand somewhere. And these are the bamboo charcoal infused facial sponge four pack. So I've said this before, you guys, I'm always buying, sorry, I dropped. I'm always buying different things for cleansing and whatnot because I don't use them for very long and I throw them out, which is why my skin looks so, imagine how crappy it would look if I didn't do that. Huh. So there's those. And then I finally found the shampoo bar. Mm. Okay, so I've purchased the other purple stuff to do a Mother's Day basket, and so I'm gonna throw this into that. Um, I'm not giving the basket to anybody, just to show you guys a cute little basket. And so I found this and I picked it up. The basket that's behind me that you're gonna see at the end of the video, that's one store. The Mother's Day basket will be multiple stores, and it's just to show you that there's, you know, 
you can, there's different ways you can do this. You can plan on something and then just start looking and picking up. Or you can walk into a store like I did and put it together. Uh, <clears throat> these are never seen these before. Um, and it's, it's by Elegant Expressions. So these are sachets. And I put those, I hauled, wasn't it last weekend? I hauled the um, fragrant sachets from Dollar Tree, the ones they have all the time, and I'd never, I'd never purchased them before. I put them in the closet. Oh my gosh, they work amazing. I'm so happy about that. Well, then I saw these, and it's a brand I hadn't seen before, and these feel like they're better for putting in a drawer, like, you know, his under underwear drawer or his undershirt drawer. His underwear drawer, he'll come smelling like fresh linen. But I'm trying to figure out if you have to open it. And I think you do have to open I can slightly, ooh, it's a good smell. All right, so just really clean, nice packaging too, huh? Great Father's Day basket if you wanted to go that way and not barbecue, right? Mm. You could do a, so, a nice basket with some of their toiletries and get some scrubby things, get some, well, these aren't, boy but they have like charcoal cleansers and all kinds of stuff you could do a nice basket that would be very elegant all right new totes and this one says you are awesome no you're possum sorry and love okay so <clears throat> um i am not sure what i'm going to do with these but i think i'm actually going to pull them apart for their for their burlap <laughs> I want the purple burlap. I'm just saying, I do want the purple burlap. It'll be so cool for something spring next year or Valentine's or something. And then obviously this one is so Valentine's. I'm not sure why it's coming out right now, but it is. Then I might use it for the red burlap. Wait, look, with my red burlap roses. Or I will save this and send it um, for Valentine's. Oh my gosh, guess what I found? I was super excited. You guys. These are so awesome. I have to tell you, can you see the detail in that? By the way, Dollar Tree nails. Yeah, glued them on. And they last at the river. Just saying. Um, so can you imagine, can you see that detail in there? It's so cool. I wanted to buy like more and I'm like, that's ridiculous. You don't really have that many places that you can use these. So, but if I don't use them, I will use them as gift baskets. And I did think that. So I this shape, which... I don't think it says the size on here. Doesn't matter. It's like shoebox size, but about basically. And look at this beautiful square one. This one I am using one for the Mother's Day basket, so you'll see that because I think it's incredibly gorgeous. And hey, interesting. This would be a great liner on it, wouldn't it? I don't know that it would fit inside though. It's not. It wouldn't fit. Hmm. Well, okay. You see how my brain works. Love this square one. These, one for the basket, and I bought four for some of my organizing. And then this long one. Look how pretty, you guys. These are so incredible. I saw them only in the gray at this store. I don't know if there's other colors. I didn't see them. I only saw them in gray. Back in housewares, doesn't that look like an Irish knot? You know, the, the isn't, yeah, sort of, maybe. It looks Celtic to me. Let's just go with that. I just thought it was really pretty. Now, it is a candle warmer, so you put a tea light in to warm your candle squares. I don't normally do that, but I would use this as a decor piece, and I would enhance it and probably put a tea light up here, maybe. Like, just, I don't know. So I'm not sure. I just thought it was really beautiful, and I wanted to show you. They had one that was blue also. I just got this green. I just thought it was very rich looking. It's a really nice, rich fall green. And then in the guys department, I was like, wait, what? Um, again, great Father's Day gift thing. I could have done a whole tool thing too. See, this is, then I'm thinking like, maybe I'll go back and do that. No, I won't. Okay. So this is for painting and it's an edge maker. So it's a perfect paintbrush for complex, intricate paint jobs, door, window, edge, trims, corners, ceilings, floors, water, oil-based paints, stain and varnish. A must-have painter's tool. So this is like when you want to get a straight line and it's got, can you see it in there? It's got like a, a it comes to a point. So, wow, what a cool little find for a dollar. This is made by Core Pacific Incorporated. Hmm. Well, anyway, I thought, yeah, that's a cool little toy. 
Okay, I don't even know where to go to next. I'm so excited. But how about we go here? I'm going to go here first. I found some new um, art decor little square pieces. So be pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. Be a pineapple. Did I say be? Okay, so yeah, cute. All right. You know, probably going to reuse it for something else. This one says you are powerful, beautiful, brilliant, and brave. So these... These are really matching their summer decor um, lines. Like the, remember my hat? And then I put the glasses up there to make it a beer hat. This is basically that same pattern. And then um, live a little, sparkle wherever you go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, interesting, you guys. Wow, I just saw this. So the sparkle is on the glass. And the inside is not. You know what I'm doing with this? Fourth of July. Look at that that silver. And it says sparkle in red. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take it apart. I'm going to put some probably table scatter in there. And then maybe a wall cling up here for fourth of July. And it'll be a very cute fourth of July decoration. Okay. There you go. Look for that one. This one says dream big. Cute. I, also, I always think like um, if that was a little bit lower... It'd be really cute to put a photo in here and then you could have the little saying and then a couple memorabilia things. I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to think off the top of my head what would be a memorabilia thing. I can't right now, but I think you get what I'm saying. Like almost like a little mini shadow box and put a picture of a grandchild or something in there. Okay, so this one matches this. So it's two, tough but sweet, which is what I'm finding. They, have, they must have like two things but one is sort of the sparkly and one is gold i don't know but they're definitely they go together and i only found this one but i'm assuming there's more it says when life gives you lemons make lemonade wait look at my hat oh so cute because i'm gonna put this on a bucket this is a totally easy tuesday for lemons and put this next to it i'll probably enhance this just a little bit with a little greenery and put this to Mm. see you guys you've got to keep your eyes out they make a pattern and then they use it on so many things like i told you this is the cup pattern that's totally the cup pattern the, i mean their summer pattern yeah they're a match well they're going together for sure huh so oh my gosh but 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 but, but what i found that i really like i don't know which one to show you first but, oh my gosh okay are we ready? You're going to be excited. Mm -hmm. Let it be, let it be. Let, I should save that song for my B-Day, huh? Okay. Dare to be you and let it be. I'm so excited. I got two of each. <laughs> so I'll probably make something and then you guys are going to want it and then I have to make it again for myself. Okay. So I don't know if there's any more. Comment down below if you've seen any others. These are the only two I've seen. I was so excited to find them. I hadn't found them. I think I saw one person haul this one, I think. Yeah. No, it was this one. I saw one person haul this one. So I hadn't seen this one. I was super excited about that. And then, and then, it wasn't enough that I found my, my B-shaped, where did they go? My B-shaped... This beehive shaped magnets and then these little doohickeys and then my flip flops with the bees on it. But then, but then, but then, but then I found these. Ah! So first of all, I want you to notice they match, right? These are gift boxes that match. See that? Wait, this one too. See? So, okay. This is a twofer, so there's two boxes in here. Look at the top. Do you not just want to die? So adorable. And then there's this size and this size. So there's one, two, there's four sizes. I'm like, yes. There's so many things. I'm like, I'm not sure I'm going to keep them boxes. I have so many ideas. I can use these as like, um, like a... I can take the box off of this and use this as a decor piece and enhance it. Um, I can take these apart and use this as a background, much like they have in here. So I can use this in a background on one of these and make a third one for a pair. I don't know, I have so many ideas. 
Um, these two, wait here, these two, I can get a third frame that is another color, or I can just go with the black maybe. I'm sorry, I'm trying to make it the right way. And do another one of my towers with a picture frame in the middle. It could be a great graduate, a beautiful graduation picture for a graduation present for a girl to put a graduation picture in the middle um, as they head off, you know, dare to be you, you know, and let it be. I'm not sure about that one. Okay, but dare to be you. It's really cute. So many ideas. My mind be whirling right now. So I was so happy to find those. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is such a long video, you guys. I'm so sorry. That's it. That's the haul. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. You have to watch this next part. First of all, something absolutely hysterical happens in it, okay? So that's it. I'm going to come back and sign off after you see the basket, all right? Thanks, guys. Hold on. Watch this part. Okay, guys. I'm a hot mess because I'm on my way back from kayaking the Colorado. <laughs> so I'm trying to get home. But I had to stop. You know I had to stop at a Dollar Tree like that I've never been to before that's like far away from my home. It's like at least an hour away. And so I challenged myself. I'm like, okay, let's go in to a store you've never been to before and put together a gift and I didn't do Mother's Day because it's, first of all, it's too close. So I went for the next one. I went for Father's Day and I thought, wow, actually, this is now the perfect time right now to go get Father's Day gifts. So I'm gonna go into this Dollar Tree. I hope that came, I suppose I could have turned the camera around, huh? Yeah, well, I didn't. Okay, so I'm gonna go in there. God, I am a mess. Mm. Yeah, oh well. I'm gonna go get a Father's Day gift. Let's see how I do. Then I'm gonna come back to the car and do it in the car right here with you. I'm gonna show you what I got. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Mm. So that was really fun um, to go into a store I've never been to before. So obviously I didn't just, I have to adjust my camera. Obviously I just didn't buy stuff that I'm gonna show you right now, but I'll save that for a haul because I'm so, I'd be happy about some things I found. Okay, but what I did was I put together a Father's Day basket. And listen, this is perfect timing. You need to watch this. And then you could probably go find some of these things. And the way I did this was I was like, I walked down and I said to myself, like, I'm just going to find the first thing for like a father that I think is really cool. And then I'll build off that. That's what I did. So first of all, let me just show you what I have right here because it's all in here. Now it's not put together, right? I don't have enough room. It's not put together because, of course, I'm in my car. My car's full of stuff from kayaking and all that. But let me just show you. I'm going to start with, see this cool little container thing? And it says, <laughs> this is fun. It says it's dry erase. Okay, so I love the red. But what I found first, which started the whole thing, were these towels, these um, dish towels or whatever. And this one says, shake it off, shake it off. And a... And this one is chilling and grilling. All right. So that started me when I found these two. And it was on the very first aisle I went down. They were at the end. So I picked these two up and I said, that's it. This is where I'm going. I'm going to do a Father's Day basket based on, of course, right? It's pretty, that's pretty typical. It's not like out of the box thought. So now not in any order in particular, just the stuff that I bought for this. I'm going to show you. So obviously I stuck with red. Can you kind of tell that? And some black. All right, so I got some skewers because, of course, you use those for barbecuing. Spray bottle. How many men spray the grill while they're cooking? Am I the only one that's ever seen that? Please tell me I'm not because I'm pretty sure that's normal. So I got a spray bottle. Um, oh, and I got these two bandanas. Now, twofold. It gets really hot when you're grilling, and so my guy will wrap a bandana around him. But also, I thought this would be really pretty to line this little box with to put my gift together, okay? Let's see, where do I go next? Uh, oh, some wax paper things. Um, because my phone just said it's low battery. Hold on, I think I better plug it in while I'm sitting here. Okay, so these are those wax paper liners. So my first thought was to line the basket with them. I'll, I will, I'm still gonna use these, but I thought these would be really cute just to enhance the basket, like to tie on some of the bottles or to wrap around or to make a really cute bow with it. So you'll see when I put it together. Where do I go next? Um, these burger patty separators. I thought those were super barbecue, right? Um, obviously barbecue. A little, what do they call this? A silicone basting brush with the red and the black. See that? Tin foil. Now this may seem odd, but hey, we use tin foil for, for barbecuing all the time, right? Nice 
piece to put in this because it's tall and because it's red. So I did get that also. Um, yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. To light that barbecue if you have to. Not all barbecues have to be lit though. I, like we don't even light ours. Okay, whatever. It looked like a barbecue thing. I don't even know. Um, all right, so I didn't buy barbecue themed pot holders in it because I really wanted the solid to throw in there and let's be honest black stands up way better to all the stains and all that so I got that and because it'll look really pretty in here okay random uh, well these are random so obviously some tongs I got those and I also got these tongs the red handle okay um hey I thought this was a great thing to add in there seasoning salts so I got that and then for the seasoning salt a little shaker of course so, um, some spicy ketchup, hot and spicy ketchup. It seems very male and it's red and we use ketchup at barbecues, right? But he also used barbecue sauce. So I got some, the one with the red label. That's how I decided. Obviously you could make this more personalized. I just went, I was going random. Okay. Now, and then these two things, a big red Powerade because you know, you get hot and thirsty when you're barbecuing and a rip it which is an energy fuel one because they're going to need energy while they're barbecuing and then this really cool red cup to pour it into all right now let's add up and then i'm going to make a video and i'll make it all pretty so this is one two three four did i show that it was power eight. five six seven eight this is hard to do you guys nine <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, it's not going to all go back in, <laughs> okay, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. $22. Wait till I put it together. You guys are going to be in shock. All from the Dollar Tree. And it took me about 10 minutes to go in there and find all this stuff. Hmm. Now let's put it together. I literally had to come back on here and tell you this old man parked in front of me. He's just staring. Like, what is this? crazy lady doing she's literally just sitting in her car it's 115 degrees here in Arizona it's not that hot it's 90 degrees but I'm sitting in the sun you know anyway and he's I know he's looking at me just going she nuts yeah she crazy cray cray lady mm -hmm. and he's sitting this is the best part though he's sitting in his car he's like the first parking space or second parking space here at Dollar Tree and he's in the passenger seat air conditioning on cuz you know you know where his wife is you know and she goes in there and he's watching this crazy one okay I just had to tell you because it was too funny let's put the basket together okay so I'm gonna attempt to put this together so that you can see it I haven't done really done this before uh, so excuse me guys while we do this all right so you've seen everything that I purchased for this little basket so here it is now this right here says dry erase because you can actually write on this so you could put a personalized message right there. I'm gonna turn it around so we're not seeing that sticker, but I wanted you to be aware of that. Also, these are perfect for like putting a tag on. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my bandanas because I'm going to drape them on the thing here. And I think it's just really cute. It's a great little way to sort of start the basket off and yeah like that now when i build a basket i go with the taller things first so the aluminum foil is pretty tall and i'm actually going to do it this way because we pull in some black on the top of it there don't worry about this by the way oh i should do it that way I'm not sure well anyway <laughs> it'll look great when we're done i promise um <clears throat> I suppose I should go back a little bit further. Hopefully that's better. Sorry, you guys. I'm still learning this one. Okay, now I have some heavier things that I'm going to need to get placed because I can't put them on top of anything else. So the Powerade is one. Um, I have the red cup with the rip it in it. So that's sort of two. And 
I balanced them, one in one corner and one in the other corner. You want this to be able to be handled without too much difficulty. I'm opening up the, um, what are these called? They're called the waxed paper liners, right? So originally I bought these, I was gonna, I was gonna line the gift with them. And so instead, I'm gonna use them for wrapping stuff in the gift. So I'm gonna take the rip it, put it in this paper, and then put that in the cup. See how cute that is? Okay, so we have some barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put that here. Some hot and spicy ketchup. So I'm just loading in some heavy things. Our squirt bottle for the barbecue. So that can go in the back, another tall item. I'm gonna take another wax paper thing. And all I'm doing is just like grabbing them in the middle and crinkling them. I'm just gonna add some poofs of color around. So the skewers, when I do tall, I usually tend to keep them to one side, but visually you do whatever, you know, is good for you. So, and the skewers, I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna put that one on that side. As I said that, and then I put that one on that, that's okay. Um, <clears throat> and our silicone brush, back there. I really want to put the skewers back there now too. Usually when I'm putting a basket together, it's just a visual thing. Like I start doing stuff and I go like, oh, I don't like the way that looks, and then I switch it up. All right, so we still have a red bandana and I'm gonna take this red bandana and just tie it on the front, kind of like a bow, which looks super cute. We still have our mitt and, um, okay, we have a lighter. So I'm gonna put the lighter inside the mitt. Just, you know, cute little, cutesy little way to get the lighter in there. I'm gonna take some more of this paper. Okay, what do we still have left? We still have the shaker for our seasoning salt. So the seasoning salt's a little heavier than the ketchup, all right? And the seasoning salt isn't necessarily the right color. So look at that, I can stick the ketchup right in the middle, which is super cute. We have tongs, so I'm gonna put them back here with our other utensils, popping that red right there. We have our black um, pot holders, and I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna put them in the back to add sort of a backing to our utensils back there. I hope this is filming okay, you guys, it's so hard to tell. All right, then I have my patty squares for the burgers, and those aren't anything that's visually pretty, but it's very barbecue. So I'm okay with getting some height for myself right there in the middle. It's time to add just a little more of our check. So I'm gonna put that like right in here. That looks really cute. So the thing that started my whole barbecue thing was these two. I love them and I want to make them prominent in the basket. So because this is heavier on this side, I'm gonna go to this side, and basically what I'm gonna do is, well, I'm gonna roll right here so I can tuck it over this. And then they're just hanging off the side right there. And this little shaker for the, for the seasoning salt, and I'm gonna take a paper like this, I'm gonna sort of put it through the handle so it gives me a little pop of some paper as I put it back there. Okay, and then this didn't make the video somehow, <laughs> but I also purchased this. So that I think that brings the total for this thing to $23. But how cute is the magnetized barbecue sticky note? So dad can plan out his barbecue. And also, this would be super cute if you opened this up and you could write, a per, like, you know, Happy Father's Day, Dad. There's nothing we like more than when you plan and cook us a barbecue. 
on the notepad because it doesn't have to be in the package. I'm hiding the tag anyway. But that says it all right there, barbecue. And this basket is very full and super adorable, you guys. Come on. How cute is this? The wax papers are a must. But if you couldn't find, let's just say you couldn't find wax paper like this to make it look all red and polka dotty. You could absolutely use um, tissue paper that's red or or white or white and red tissue paper together just so you can still get that color effect. Okay, and that's it. Is that not adorable, you guys? I hope you guys can see this really well. It's so cute. So my poor guy, he's actually getting this basket, but he's going to know all about it because he watches my videos. But that's, you know, that's how it is. This is too cute. This is a must. All right. So I hope you guys like that. You have to just tell me what other baskets you'd like me to do, and I will do them for you. Okay. First of all, the old man in the car. Mm -hmm. It was hysterical. But did you guys not love? Just walked in, pulled all that stuff together, pulled a little basket. And I mean, this is so cool looking, you guys. $23. And it's huge. And it feels massive. I mean, this is a no-brainer, good for any guy for Father's Day um, basket. These wax liners are amazing for that filler in there. It just makes it look so adorable, doesn't it? And I just love the bandana tied on there. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. So listen, everybody have a great day, great week, great life. You're going to see me back here tomorrow because tomorrow is theme Thursday. And then you'll, yeah. And I've got to, I've got to film another one right now in this theme outfit because I've got to get all these filmings done. <laughs> so filmings, all these videos done for this weekend because I'm gone. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you really enjoyed that. If you really like that idea of going in and me picking up something and putting together a gift, Please put some barbecue emoji right now at the end of this video. At the at, right now, mm -hmm. whatever. All right. Um, so you guys, hey, happy hunting at the Dollar Tree. I hope you all find what you're really looking for. It sounds so cliche. I don't like sounding so cliche. All right. Mm -hmm. Cause you better shop around. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 you better shop around. Mm -hmm.